Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mam Raya, your English teacher. And for today's lesson, we're going to have another English grammar topic. Okay, we're going to discuss the difference between affect and effect. Mm, they sound familiar to you? Yes. So there are times that actually, yes, I do admit that we do have confusion on when to use them. Okay, in our sentences. Okay, so don't worry. I'll be here yeah, helping you out to have clarifications on this matter. So let's get started. Okay, so we're, um, we're going to define yeah, the words first. Okay, so it would be easier for us to identify their difference. So effect here okay, means it's a noun. Okay, I hope that's clear there in, on the screen. It's a noun which means outcome or result. Okay, yes, effect. Okay. So we have here examples. Okay. The effects of the pandemic are overwhelming. Before you make an important decision, always think about the possible effects of it. Okay. We have another one. Your advice had a tremendous effect on my decision. Okay. So again, we mentioned that effect is the result or the outcome. So whatever your decision in life is, it, it always have it always has um, a good or bad effect in your life okay so um, whether you whether you decided to quit schooling then it will have bad effect maybe okay so we just have to remember that the use of effect in our sentences is a noun as you noticed here okay effect that um, it is used as a noun in the sentence okay so about the possible effects, okay, possible effects, it's still a noun. Okay, your advice had a tremendous effect. Tremendous is the adjective. It describes your noun effect. Okay, that's quite easy. Okay, effect, outcome, or result. Okay, how about the other one, affect? Affect here, on the other hand, you know, is a verb. Okay, I hope that's clear there. A verb that means to change or to have an effect on okay so that's the um yes that's the um, explanation or the description rather of effect yeah to change or to have an effect on okay so we have here examples okay his success in management will affect our standing among the other departments the way she affected other students was admirable your remarks have affected me a lot okay so um, please do observe these three sentences okay will affect so we um yes basically so for the uh, verb tenses or yes um we do have will here for simple future uh, yes future here so will always followed with the base form of the verb so that's why we use affect so it's a verb okay another is she affected you yeah, um future yeah, simple future did i mention simple future not past tense okay here it's a simple past tense okay the way she affected okay so again to change or to have an effect on the person so probably based on um, uh, what her actions are okay so affect it was admirable okay your remarks have affected me a lot so, oh, okay, um, um, probably you have done a lot of good things and which makes the person think to follow you, you know, being a role model, okay, affected. Have affected is, you know, we have here present perfect, okay, your, your remarks have affected me a lot, okay. So, I hope that's clear, okay, very simple, our topic for today is simple. I hope everything is clear, clear. I made it clear for you. So we just have to remember. The only thing that we need to remember is a fact is a verb. Effect is a noun. Okay, yes. Effect, result. Affect, um, it causes changes, okay, in your life or it has something. It affects something in your life. So there is a result. But it is used as a verb, affect, verb, effect, noun. Okay, let's try to have a brief exercise. Okay, just five items. Okay, we have here. We just need to choose um whether what's the correct 
or uh, correct word to use affect or effect a number one what are the possible effect or eff effect of these actions so noticing here that we already have the verb are and then we do have the adjective so we only need a noun okay so between the two affect and effect which is a noun mm, okay effects so we have here s because yeah it's plural okay that's why we have plural noun because the verb there is already plural but if it is is here what is the possible effect of these actions okay number two i don't think there will be any negative so there will be there will be there you already have a verb there there will be any negative effects already so since you already got a verb here okay now let's have the third one his actions will positively will so we don't have a pair, a verb. So normally we do have will plus the base form of the verb, just like this in number two. We need to pair that one with a base verb, base form of the verb. So we need to have effect. His actions will positively affect your reputation at school. Okay. Number four, the crisis is not going to. Mm, remember going to will versus going to. So going to plus base form of the verb will not going to affect our country. Okay, yes, being optimistic. The crisis we are in right now. Okay, number five, the typhoon had no significant. Okay, we already have the verb here. Had no significant. Okay, uh, yes, we do have the um, adjective here that will describe to our noun okay had no significant effects on wildlife well i hope yeah that was quite easy for you as well okay yes i you can already now identify correctly you know the use of effect and effect okay in your sentences okay thank you for this wonderful session with you okay enjoy learning and that will be all please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that we can have or you can be notified to new updates from my other english um, grammar lessons okay thank you and enjoy the rest of your day that would be all goodbye for now bye bye